And the last one will be double gagged by Koji to come in fast enough. <laughs> it's, it's fine. I, I feel like our race saw is going to be a bit out of it, so... This is the you processing know, this, power you should expect. I just noticed how much less intimidating this is when you realize he has scrawny little legs. Oh yeah, it's like, it's very arm-centric. Maybe they're supposed to be further back? Yeah, it's... Like, what them? it is, is that it's like, it's a normal-sized person, you know, with like a cool anime build, and they're in this giant cloak with all these giant, like, cannons and bits of equipment coming off of it, so it makes Hal look really small. <laughs> Ironically. <laughs> it ironically makes him look really, really tiny. Yeah, I, I was caught up watching the episode that I didn't really pay attention to his goofy little legs. <laughs> but yeah. It's definitely a really distinct look to it. So yeah, I should mention one thing before we really get into this. It's like, Ooh. there is a detail that really confused me when someone pointed it out, and then I, like, had to look back and, like, you know, I just kind of completely missed it. In a so, previous episode? Yeah, so I remember last episode when, like, Peyote betrays the group and stuff. Yeah. There actually is a difference between the anime and manga when that happens. Because oh. in the anime, like, he betrays the group, and you see his skeleton, like, his giant skeleton thing disappear. Okay. In the manga, instead, you see the energy around it, like, you know, go away, and then it falls over. It it was a real giant skeleton puppet. That's why oh. it's so strong. Because, like, he's literally just controlling a real giant, like, thing with his energy. So he can uh, just okay. devote all his, like, you know, like, mana and stuff and to just make it really fast and strong. Okay. Sorry, hold on. I need... Again, I... it'll just take a second. I'll be right back. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I should point out that, like, someone put up a blah blah blah, I can't talk. Someone put that on, like, a con, and it was, like, a really, like, interesting little detail that I completely glossed over. So that for some weird reason, the anime actually did change that, and I really don't understand why. Okay, sorry about that. Yeah, the, uh, piece of garbage fell out of the trash or something, the cat was messing with it. Yeah. <coughs> It's also worth knowing that, like, yeah, apparently shamans are not gun level. <laughs> huh? Gun uh, level? Yeah, apparently, like, shamans are completely vulnerable to, like, normal bullets and stuff. Because <laughs> sure. I was thinking, like, oh, yeah, maybe you'd have all these cool ways to deal with guns and stuff. And it's like, no, the, the shaman powers are very specifically just for the shaman fight. <laughs> So it's like, I, I guess that makes sense, you know? I, wait, are you saying that if somebody just unloaded on Hal with a regular gun, you wouldn't be able to stop it? Well, Hal probably no, because he's stupidly powerful, but, like, someone like Yo or, like, Yo, like, Ren, absolutely. If someone walked up to Yo with a shotgun, he'd be fucked. I, that seems ridiculous to me. <laughs> It, like, it seems really crazy, because we're just so used to, like, you know, anime logic ways around it. And I honestly kind of prefer that. <laughs> but at the same time, I mean, y you think about it, it's like, yeah, we haven't really seen anything that shows otherwise. I, I maybe, guess maybe, if but... someone just ran up to Yo with, like, a pistol and started shooting, he wouldn't really be able to do much. I don't, I don't buy that. <laughs> I don't buy that, that Yo would somebody walk up to him with a gun, like, obviously about to shoot him, and he wouldn't be able to stop it. That seems ridiculous to me. Yeah, like, I mean, if Yo, like, you know, ran fast enough, he would probably, like, cut your arm off before you fired it. But, I mean, like, Yo, there hasn't been anything yet that would imply that Yo can actually, like, dodge bullets. I, well, he's got, like, anime samurai, like... Yes. He does. 
Yeah, so he'd like cut the bullets or something. Like I I'd assume so, but I mean <laughs> Yeah, apparently not really. <laughs> so yeah, that's nah, like a whole other thing. I don't buy this random dude with a gun, like if if they're approaching a shaman who is like it, like if they don't sneak attack them, I don't buy that they would just take them with a gun and win. <laughs> yeah, if Marco just used his gun as a gun instead of firing the angel, it would be way more effective. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> so yeah, I, I I feel like I'm really probably not gonna have much to say about this episode. <laughs> Cause here's the thing, it's like most of this episode is that Anna fights How, and then How's like, oh, look how strong I am, you can't beat me. And he and, takes his Shinigami back. Yeah, he takes all of his Shinigami back. It is interesting to note that, like, Anna suffers no negative effects from this, so Anna is, like, pretty good at handling that, I suppose. Because there's a whole thing about, like, someone being his Shinigami before, and it, like, made How, like, bleed from the head and stuff. Because it, like, reflected the curse back on him or something. Mm. <laughs> but, yeah, then Yo just shows up just like, Hey, Con, we don't need to fight. You know, Anna's Anna. There's, like, nothing more to it. <laughs> and Yo just tangs out with the foul boss and just has coffee with him. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, it's, like, it's a really jarring cut. Because it just immediately goes from Yo showing up and being like, yeah, come on, Yo, we know we can't beat you, but you know, we're not going to stop trying or whatever. <laughs> and it just instantly cuts to the coffee shop. And it's like, it's it's such a jarring cut. It didn't even register that it was like how at first, because he like changes his outfit and everything. So it's like, oh, why is Yo hanging out with his mom? Oh, wait a second. <laughs> It registered to me that it was how, but it's just like, wow, what? <laughs> Here's the thing, as jarring as it is, I kind of do love this a bit. Well, so you were frustrated with, like, how quickly the pacing was going. I'm more frustrated that the pacing was going that fast and then screeched to a halt. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. I can believe it. <laughs> It goes so fast, and it's like, you know what? no, let's just have a nice little chat. And they do. They chat yeah. while having coffee, and How is just like, yeah, I can read your mind, whatever. Yeah, he's like, oh, well, you're playing, you know, just, it, it probably won't work, but yeah, I mean, try your best, you know. <laughs> It's like, yeah, you know, I, I'm just gonna wait till you're at your absolute strongest and they'll absorb you and become more powerful. Just like all these are people who have reached their limits. Yeah. And then he's like, alright, well, we, we gotta do this again sometime later. And then yeah. he, goes to, he goes to pay for the drinks. And it looks like he's, like, threatening the bar, like, the, the barista. And he's like, he's like threatening him into getting a free drink or whatever. And I, he leaves. And it turns I interpret out that, that scene as that being exactly what happened. Well, that's not what happened. Like, he was looking menacingly, but it wasn't that the guy, it was that Yoke, he could see that Yokin was there. Okay, yeah. But he still was like, oh yeah, you're gonna charge me that? Yeah, no. <laughs> but not what he said at all. He's just like, oh, six fifty one yen, huh? And like, but he looked scary because he was glaring at Yokin, so yeah. it gave the impression that he was threatening him. Man, I I may have to like look back at that because it's like, <laughs> trust me, I thought he was threatening him too, and then Yokin pops out and he's like, yeah, oh man, he can see me. And it's like, oh, okay, he was glaring at him, the guy who killed him 500 years ago. That does make sense, but he still doesn't pay for the drink. Yeah. Well, it's because the guy is like, oh, n never mind. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's on the house with the first five customers. And he's yeah. like, oh, okay. I kind of took this, like, oh, how's, like, willing to just exploit his power for, like, gain, and he doesn't think of that. And Yo's, like, a nice kid, so he'll just pay anyways. I think it was a big coincidence, but yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah you're pace. probably right, actually. <laughs> no pace for the drinks, anyways. <laughs> oh man, I just also, 
Also, that's something I just kind of glossed over. Jokin's fine. Yeah. Not only yeah. is he fine, he was he was uh, brought out of hell. I, I guess he's just fine, huh? He's just fine now. I, I barely even, like, it barely even registered to me, but it's like, yeah, yeah, I guess he's just there. He's just they there. Yeah, the, yeah, they don't make a big deal out of it. <laughs> he's just there. <laughs> oh, there is that moment where uh, they're having coffee and Amita Maru's in the corner, like, like he's about to, like, freak out and attack Hal. Yeah, he's, he's just waiting for the moment where Hal tries something and Yo's like, come on, pl please don't, yeah, we we can't beat him anyways. <laughs> like, as, as dumb as it feels, I kind of do really appreciate that everyone just looks at the foul boss and they're like, yeah, no, there's no way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we could all jump this guy at once and we wouldn't be able to do it. <laughs> kill all of us oh yeah easily and Hal's just like you know what I appreciate that you like understand that <laughs> he's like yeah please don't get in my way please and thank you <laughs> yeah it's such um, like a weird dynamic <laughs> I can't remember what it is that Hal says to Yo but it's like all of a sudden he's like oh is that anger I sense <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, he's like, oh yeah, I don't really care about the others, you know, all people that died on the beach, yeah, I was just using them, they they reached their potential, you know, there yeah, wasn't anything else yeah, to yeah. gain, and Yo's just like, oh, you friggin', like, he just, like, gets angry for a bit, Yeah, <laughs> and Hal's like, yeah, I do genuinely like, you know, Lucius and Opacho, though, you know, Opacho's a good kid, you know, he's oh, a that's... nice little kid. <laughs> Yeah, that was that was part of their conversation. He's like, yeah, he's oh, got you... a good heart to him, and yeah, Lucius is really strong and reliable. Yeah, that was another part of the episode where he's just like, I do have feelings, by the way, despite what you're thinking, like, yeah, whatever. And it's like, okay, Mister Psycho Killer. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's not wrong, I guess. <laughs> Just strip, like, yeah, yo, know, yeah, there's people I like, there's people I don't care about, yo. Know. Like, pretty distinctly, he says nothing about Antol. Antol is, like, nothing to him. Antol oh, could, like, die and he wouldn't even think about it. Yeah, Anahal, yeah. Yeah, yeah Anahal, yeah. Yeah, I don't, get, he don't give a crap about that guy. He just showed up. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's not even an original character design on. You see that guy? He's a weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I love him. Goes revenge or whatever. It's fine. Yeah, he's not gonna be a bother. <laughs> yeah. Meanwhile, Anna and the Golem kids are hanging out back at their place with uh, Hanagumi, who I... have learned who have learned at this point that Hal don't give a crap about them. Yeah, I. I kind of wish they managed to survive, but I do like that they're still just around, just sulking. Yeah, and as we... just like, oh yeah, we should probably keep an eye on them so they don't become evil spirits. Because you know, that actually is a thing. Yeah, we saw their bodies on the beach, and Mickey found found all those bodies, so he could have recovered them. They're probably going to be fine. Why is Mickey still wearing the swim trunks? Did, did someone steal his other clothes? The writer probably thought it was funny. <laughs> yeah, well, actually, honestly, probably. In this... Well, when he's on the beach, he's about to go fishing. You know, actually, yeah, no, that makes sense. The, the question is when uh, the Rin family and the Asakura family are all, like, in, in like, the series meeting, why he's still in the swim trunks there. Yeah. And, it, no. and that, that is probably because the writer thought it was funny. Yeah, there's a weird recurring gag of characters being like, oh, yeah, we just ran here straight away. There is no time to change. And it's just like, there's Mickey at the meeting, and you look over, and then, like, there's also a moment where all of, like, you know, the Gondara guys run up to Sati, and they're still just wearing towels and, like, thongs and crap, and they're like, yeah, I just got back from the bathhouse to report immediately. There's no time to change into our outfits. Yeah. We, we couldn't even old. spare a second to put pants on. Yeah, big, big old, big old camera shot of fat guy in a Speedo. <laughs> Man, this this series really does like male fan service, doesn't it? Later in this episode, Hal is taking a bath. Yeah, just straight up. 
<laughs> I like he straight up tells us that's what he's going to do. He's like, oh yeah, you know, I'm just gonna go and take a bath completely unprotected. Don't worry about it. Yeah, it's it's just how often it happens though. It's just like... Oh yeah, it's it's pretty like consistent. <laughs> Like, I'm I'm not even mad, it's just kind of funny at this point. Yeah, it's basically I'm not running, against it. Basically a running joke. Um But yeah, uh, uh the, the the golem kid. I forget I forget their names. Uh, uh the, 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 Serum and Redsome, I think. I think that's a uh, yeah, it's something like that. But yeah, it's like we should have just Everybody ganged up on Hal with the golem. We probably could have took him. And then yeah, I was like, no. I really like that he, like, brings up the idea. He's like, oh, yeah, you know, well, like, Hal's alone. We've got our people here. Yeah, we we could just, like, take him, right? Yeah, we just, let's just, like, go out. And, you know, if we all attack him, and Anna's like, yeah, no, we, we won't last. No, that'd be stupid. <laughs> Yeah, it's like another little thing. It's like, there's one line that the, like, anime cut out when Hal's, like, in his, like, crazy new form. <laughs> and it's where he just straight up says that it's like, this form consumes, like, just straight up all of his mana. Mm. So it's and like all of his for Yoku it. and his, like, Rei Yoku or whatever, and that's why it's, like, so much stronger. Yeah. So it's uh, like, hey, yo, numbers don't matter, but also try beating, like, 1.25 million or whatever all at once in, like, one go. Just yeah. try it. Yeah, and it, his form is something, like, rave, something raven, I think. Yeah, it's it's something like Black Raven or something. I, I forget yeah. the exact name, I probably should remember, but it's like, yeah... Again, we're sticking with the whole, like, ammo theme for, like, you know, armor forms and stuff. Yeah, well, I was gonna say, in contrast to, uh, Yo's White Swan. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a very purposeful feeling. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah then, we... uh, yeah, Shaman Fight just continues. Yeah, Team Funbari Hot Springs versus Team Varin. <laughs> I... I, I can't believe they're still just calling themselves friggin' Funabari Hot Springs just to advertise Anna's, like, business. I mean, that's the name they entered under. <laughs> she, she, like, they had one gag where Anna's like, I want to own a hot spring someday, and they've just stuck with it ever since. Hey, good on them. <laughs> yeah. We're not gonna rename, we're not gonna rebrand ourselves as Team like White Swan or something. It's, it's just Team Funari Hot Springs versus the Red. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, this. Okay, so before this fight happens, Red just shows up to Yo and he's like, "Oh yeah, you had coffee with that bastard, didn't you? I'm gonna right. kill you in the ring." Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of moments after that where just like I can't believe you just sat down and had coffee with him. Yeah, Ren's just like you. I can't believe you had coffee with the final boss, you friggin' dick. Yeah. And Yo's just like just grabs the mic and he's like, you know what? No, it's fine, Yo. I had to do it because you see the doubt how is that he doesn't have any friends, and everyone just stares in shock. Yeah. It's like, oh, yo, of course, yo means like, yo, he doesn't have anyone who understands him. So he wants to be a friend for how, you know, even though he's a bad person. And everyone else is just like, wow, what a call out. Yeah. I should bring up that, uh, it's going exactly where I thought it is, or it's just like, uh, where it's trying to make us sympathetic to how they're going to redeem him. Yeah, pretty much. Just, just exactly. Yeah. Yo, I was his... like, I can't, I can't beat him in a fight, but maybe I can beat him by reaching his heart or something. And I'm like, oh god. Yeah, has there been like any villains in the series that we haven't redeemed? Like, well, I, uh, I guess a bunch of Hal's underlings have like just been like no redemptions, but you know. Well, yeah, but most of them, like the ones that have just died or whatever, weren't because of. Like weren't because Yo killed them. Yeah, there there hasn't been anyone Yo's beaten without really like reaching out to them. Like there's Takagiro, Faust, Ren, obviously. 
uh friggin who else like the x laws he reached out to them and made them change their ways yeah like how's changing lucius seemed to like change a little bit but he's still on the villain side you know Apparently like we're just probably. yeah like rin's family we're just straight up getting the culmination of no people who can see ghost or bad yep I mean, I, I guess fair enough, they are people with motives, but also, like, you know... Yes, yeah, so sometimes people are just dicks. <laughs> so Sometimes people are just, you know, just, like, crazy bastards, and they just do horrible things for very selfish reasons, and they gotta go. Yeah, kind of like how. <laughs> yeah. Like, this is like... Like, I feel like if this ran as long as Naruto, it would, like, absolutely beat it for the most, like, big villain redemptions. Oh, jeez. Oh, like, Naruto. absolute. Because oh. every other villain in Naruto was either, like, you know, a sympathetic Naruto, like, you know, parallel oh, on its sad yeah. swing set. Or they're just a horrible monster that just dies and they get, like, literally nothing. <laughs> Yeah, the best and, example of it is like yeah. Sabuzo was a bad person up to his death, but at least he went out like a cool guy. Yeah, and honestly, I feel like Sean King is handling it kind of like better than Naruto, <laughs> just because the characters have way more nuance. But still, like holy crap, this this is like a personal thing, but like you know, it it really is going all out, isn't it? Yeah. At least they're not trying to pretend like Yo isn't, like, just super strong. Yeah. Like, unlike Naruto, where it's just like, oh, I don't have any latent abilities and whatever. And it's like, oh, you have all of them. Yeah, like... <laughs> you were set yeah. up to succeed from birth. Yeah, I, I definitely feel Yo is, like, way more of a kind of quote-unquote underdog at this point. Because it's like, we really did see him to start with, like, basically nothing, huh? Yeah. It's like, oh, you've got, like, 200, like, you know, do you have that? You have something like 150 mana and, like, you have a friggin' samurai and a katana. Now go fight these gods. Yeah. Remember when his style of fighting was letting the ghost possess him so he could fight with a, with a gravestone? Yeah, just straight up a burial marker or something. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I... That's the thing, it's like, this series has changed so much, hasn't it? Uh-huh. Like, it's... I, yeah. I, I, I kind of feel like the writer can't decide what he wants to do with their powers. <laughs> it, it really does feel that way. <laughs> it's like, it's cool as Oversouls have been. I, I kind of miss those earlier chapters where it's like, you know... Back of the preliminaries where it's like, oh yeah, your power is you get possessed by a ghost that can fight and now you can, like, use their abilities. Yeah. And, you know, like the Faust Bell where it's like, oh yeah, yo, you have a super ability, but it's like, it's very basic and, you know, you win by fighting smart. Yeah. Faust and, had, like, early, like, Furioku, like... Oh yeah, Faust's like, like yo number was like worse than Yo's, and he was just like, oh yeah, it's fine. I just use my energy on the joints of these skeletons, and that's all I really need. I have numbers. <laughs> yeah, I may not have <laughs> numbers, but I've got numbers. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's like yo, know, everyone's using crazy elemental abilities, and people are like reviving each other from the dead, and yo. Know, Rin's like summoning actual lightning. There's like, there's a whole thing. Alright, so this fight just starts where Yo just starts fighting Rin. And there's an entire thing about how Yo has mastered mana nullification. So we can just beat out everyone's oversouls. Yeah. So I think you said, uh, you, uh, uh, you assumed that the reason Rin was able to beat the Gundara guys because it was real lightning. Yeah, turns out that was 100% on the money. <laughs> yeah, because it wasn't like a ghost, like a, a spectral force or whatever, like they couldn't cancel it. Yeah, you, you can cancel out like spirit energy, but if you turn that energy into like an actual element or something, then it gets through. And you yeah. know what, as much as I was complaining about, that actually is pretty rad. I, yeah. I can't deny it. <laughs> 
And then, yeah, and then there's the other problem where it's like, oh, the horror horror is using big ice fists. Yeah, it's like <laughs> real ice, so you can't really cut that with nullification. Yeah. So, uh, Ren and Horo Horo, not Chokolov, because uh, Abba's still in hell trying to make sure Lyserg can get out. God, can you imagine if this was like three on three and like we had friggin' like, you know, Chokolov's <laughs> armor form helping Ren out too? That would be crazy, especially considering they strike down Faust and Ryu immediately. Yeah, like, I... It, it makes sense, because it's like... Faust has not really been much of a fighter as much as he's, like, a healer. You know, he's, like, that clever bastard that has, like, you know, his whole, like, tricks and, like, you know, his little, like, schemes and stuff to go around things. Yeah. As much, as much as I would, would have liked to see Faust actually fight, I, uh, I, I'll give it a pass because Ren is, like, take out the healer. Yeah, just straight up. You know, Faust take is the out. biggest throw on the heel. Take him out now. Yeah, we'll fix him up after the fight, but he's gotta go. Yeah. <laughs> like, Chocolov just straight up rips off both of Ryu's arms, and it doesn't sound like it's like an illusion or something. He just, like, froze his <laughs> arms and just shattered them. Crap, is that what's ha Oh my, yeah. I didn't even... <laughs> yeah. What the heck? <laughs> Can they fix that? I... I would believe Faust could probably fix it. I don't know. Hopefully. <laughs> like, <laughs> Horror Horror literally was just like, yo, hey, since you've got a healer, I guess I can go all out, huh? And he just ripped his arms off. Yeah. So that's. So Faust being taken out makes sense, as frustrating as it is. Ryu getting taken out is annoying. Yeah, I really want Ryu to be more than he is. I, I really this, want him to be more of a threat. Yeah, this could have been Yo versus Rin while Ryu fought Horo Horo. Yeah, yeah, that would have worked. And it's I, like, and, and Faust, Faust and Chokolov are out of the fight because the Faust got like he doesn't look too heavily injured, like he like his blood coming out of his mouth, but he he's yeah. kind of taking a knee, and the Chokolov just can't fight because he doesn't have a spirit with him. Yeah. Speak of, yeah, I, I feel like that means Chokolov should probably be disqualified, like, right away. Well, I don't know, he probably still, does have, like, a spirit, it's just not, like, you know, as Pascal, right? Yeah, he's probably still got Mick with him. Okay, so Chokolov probably still is in, like, quote-unquote oversoul mode, it's just not, like, activated. So, alright, that's fine, yeah. He could probably still fight, but without Abba with him, it's just not gonna work work it's, very well yeah he's not gonna be able to do much at this point not in this not in these fights you know not against like everyone with all their new god powers yeah but i think we kind of end off on a cliffhanger where like yo is getting electrocuted by the real lightning and he's like talking through it <laughs> yeah that's such a goofy shot like yo yo just turns into a skeleton <laughs> Yeah, we see him talking as a skeleton. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> Just look, like every time he opens his mouth, lightning uh, would be like flashing between his teeth and gums. And he's like, oh yeah, good job, Rin. Not bad. <laughs> yeah, so he's going to get back up in the next episode and they're going to like actually fight. I, I am curious how they're going to justify this though, because it seems like Yo's kind of on his own here, huh? Yeah. <laughs> He's on I mean, his own and his big new power-up doesn't really do much in these situations. Well, the answer is that he has another power-up. Oh yeah, probably. I, because how much do you want to bet it's like another power-up compared to him just getting up and then just being doing one hit without thinking? I mean, it could be, but it's like, he had Byaku before he went to hell. Like, so yeah. at leaving, he should have come out with something new. I, I wouldn't be surprised if his power-up literally was just, like, you know, like, just mana nullification, out. yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like Yo is going to win, but, yeah, it looks pretty bad for him. How nice will it be if Yo lost, but because, you know, they're still in the finals, who cares? The, like, quarterfiles or whatever. 
It's like yeah. Rin just wins, and he's like, oh yeah, yo, this is where like the finals are gonna be held. Come like cheer us on. And he just gets there anyways. Yeah. I mean, yeah, they're all at the same team, really, so. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Yo yeah, probably Yo, is gonna win. Yeah, but Yo's team could lose, and it wouldn't mean too much for the story. Oh yeah, straight up. Because, as Yo said already, we're not gonna be Hal. Yeah. We have to, like, kill him in his sleep, or we'll talk him down? <laughs> that seems to be Yo's plan. Uh, maybe, maybe if we just talk to him really, really nicely, we can do something. Maybe if maybe all Hal needs is a friend. Maybe if we just reach out to him, we can you know shatter the despair around him and just like he'll he'll be a good shaman king. Yeah. Also, I I like that uh, Hal is like watching the fight on TV as he's in the bath, and it's like here's the the thing where it's like oh yeah Hal doesn't have any friends, and then Anna Hall is like trying to sneak away. <laughs> and Hal is just like it's it's fine. <laughs> yeah, Hal's like laughing at. He's like, "Oh, yo, you're such a weirdo." Yeah, he's like, "Oh, yeah, that's nothing." I could feel that's what he like. I could read that's what he felt the entire time we were having coffee. <laughs> <laughs> of course, he was thinking this. Yeah, that's whatever. It's I know what he's up to. Uh yeah. that yo and his shenanigans. <laughs> Man, there there is one little detail the anime left out that I should probably mention. <laughs> it's this really dumb little moment where it's like, alright, the match ends, Team the Ren is going to start. <laughs> and yo, the the Golem kids are like, oh yeah, we need to cheer yo on. Do your best, yo. And they're like flying the Golem above the stage and has a big banner on it. It says something like, Fight yo fight. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. I, I can <laughs> see why they didn't include it, but it was just a goofy double thing. <laughs> oh god. How I wonder how Yo's going to survive being electrocuted with real actual lightning. <laughs> He's a shaman, he'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, just 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 that, huh? Yeah. It's it's literally part of the reason that it's like you can't walk up to a shaman with a gun and expect to beat them. Yo can shrug off lightning and he's yeah. going to. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Well, that's my mind. There is more thing I should probably bring up, and that's like a bar correction because like I think last time like there is a comment where someone said something like, "Oh yeah, after you watch episode forty three or forty four, I forget which one. I think they was like forty four, but they meant forty three. Because mm -hmm. pacing is wild. Mm -hmm. They're like, after you watch that, check out chapter 100, I think it was. And I yeah. should mention that, like, the, the reason I was so surprised <laughs> is because I looked up chapter 100, and it's in the middle of the Chepis Dracula fight. Uh-huh. Turns out they meant 120. Okay. And that's the chapter where it's like, yo... There is a manga-only scene that I don't think I mentioned at the time, where, like, after Peyote loses in Chocolove in the tournament, there's a little moment where he's just in his room alone with as like, you know, hat and headgear and stuff, and he's just like, oh, wow, how really doesn't care Bass at all, does he? And it's, like, foreshadowing to his betrayal. Mm -hmm. So I really should have mentioned that at the time, but I didn't think much of it. And yeah, now looking back, that was actually kind of a big deal, huh? Hmm. Uh, so yeah, I felt like I probably should have, like, just mentioned that real quick to explain, like, you know, like, why I had such a weird reaction <laughs> and, you know, what that was about and all that stuff. Because right. I was just, I just saw the Dracula fight and I'm like, oh, we're going back to this somehow? Oh, oh, really? <laughs> really <laughs> now? It's like, all right, huh, interesting. <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah, I guess anything else we really want to get into with this? Nah, I think that's all. 
Yeah, I feel like I have much to say about it, but yeah, like, I don't know. How'd you feel about this episode? I liked all the episodes we covered today, I think. Yeah, like, I, I enjoyed this quite a bit. Like, I, I feel like, you know, I wish the actual fight was a bit more involved. I wish they you know, got a bit more into the gritty of it. You know, the, like, hard, like, strategies or whatever or something. But, you know, other than that, I, I really dig, like, you know, sitting down and having a chat with the final boss. And I really had that jarring cut, but I mean, you know, we, we got something unique and interesting out of it, I guess. So, fair enough.